The following program contains no firearms, no scenes of hunting, no violence and no cruelty to animals. We do not promote hunting. All guns shown in this program are compressed air by spring, gas piston or PCP does not require a firearms license. The program is aimed to be informative, entertaining and sportive. Hi viewers, it's yet another review on our channel. You might have seen the trailer which I posted earlier, so you might know which rifle we are going to talk about. It's a GM10 PCPR rifle, newly launched in India. Comes to us from Bangalore, made by a company called Gandiva Advanced Research and Equipments. I'm lucky to have this in my hand. I took a little bit of time to make this review. Usually, I don't like to post reviews right out of the box, taking the gun right out of the box, start shooting, and give an opinion about it. I just want to get in deep with it, know all about the rifle, take the maximum performance out of it, tune the rifle a little bit and then provide it to you guys. So that's what I have done. I have done my work, take out the results. So let's get into the review. I'll give you a clean and clear look of the rifle. Rifle weighs around 2.5 to 2.6 kgs with open sights right from the factory. Right now, with the scope, a pair of mounts, a magazine full of lead, a picket and rail, a bipod, and the cylinder filled with air, this weighs around 3.6 kgs exactly, which is fairly light for a rifle. And the rifle measures about 38 inches in length from the tip to toe. Starting from the front, this rifle comes with the open sight from the factory. The front side is a metal one and the rear side was also metal. The rear side was adjustable for windage and elevation. was fixed on the 11mm mount which I had to remove since I had to put a scope on the top. This scope is a Hawk Vantage 4 to 12 by 40 magnification scope which is crisp and clear. Best for target shooting. I love this scope a lot. And this rifle comes with a 18 inch rifle barrel and a 190cc air reservoir which is made of aluminium so it doesn't rust and reduces the weight of the rifle and there's a built-in pressure gauge in the front you can know the amount of air left in your rifle and this is a spring loaded dust cap which exposes the filling port of the gun like this rifle comes with a supplied in fill probe from the factory of course looking at the stock of the rifle just look at how shiny glossy and nice feel it has i think i can show it so this is a beech wood stock but not with a natural wood grain has a kind of wood coating to it looks really nice and coming back to the action of the rifle the rifle is a bolt action PCPR rifle it just comes with a single shot tray and a magazine like the single shot tray works really good and the magazine is a rotary one with a 10 shot capacity in it the only thing this rifle lacks is a safety feature it doesn't come with a safety option inside however there's a small internal safety inside which is when you pull the bolt all the way forward the trigger doesn't engage but when the bolt is locked or closed the rifle is ready to go which is not so safe with young shooters i mean let's take a look at the trigger of the rifle the rifle is cocked now so it's a two stage adjustable trigger you can adjust it as per your need like make sure you don't adjust it too light because you might end up screwing up because the rifle won't cock if you adjust it too light it comes good from the factory so you can use it straight away now the rifle is loaded the trigger is ready to go the trigger is a two stage there's a first stage definite stop on the second stage like actually i can feel the first stage stopping onto the second and then breaks clean like there's a first stage stops on the second stage and break clean let's show it again like there's a first stage stops on the second and breaks clean like i really love the trigger the 190cc air reservoir like it can hold up to 80 shots at 15 foot pounds of energy 
and to get the most consistent shots you can shoot about like i shoot about 60 filling up of the gun goes around like this open up the dust cap insert the fill probe supply from the factory into the fill port Open up your cylinder or pump the air. This rifle works at 200 bar of pressure. Make sure you don't fill it about 200 bar. Once you have filled, close the air source. Bleed the air between the air source and the gun and you are done. It's simple as it is. Loading up your magazine is really simple. Just keep a tension on the spring loader rotator inside. Drop your pellets one by one, head first inside and you are good to go. Simple. So now let's talk about the accuracy and performance of this rifle. At first, this rifle was a bit pellet fuzzy, doesn't suit with the normal pellets which I use. Like I went through a lot of varieties of pellets just to find the right pellet which will suit this rifle, and finally found it. So the first pellet was this principal field target 8.4 grain rounded pellets and then the G Smith Jumbo 13 grain which I did not use a lot because like it's a heavy pellet which moves really slow on this rifle so then the G Smith Hyper Impact which almost looks like a Barracuda h and Barracuda pellet so this was giving good accuracy and that's the final pellet the h and Barracuda itself 10.5 grains which was looked working fantastic in this rifle all the accuracy test was done at 25 yards at first and then at 50 yards let's start off from the least accurate pellet to the most accurate one as usual the least accurate pellet out of this four were the principal field target 8.4 grains it was grouping under an inch for sure like about three quarters of an inch but i was having one or two flyers here and there And the next accurate pellets was the G Smith Jumbo 13 grain pellets which was grouping really good, really good under uh, 3 quarters of an inch at 25 yards but this pellet was a heavier one which did not support me for long range shooting, it did not give the velocity to shoot at long ranges because it's a 15 foot pound gun. So I did not use this much but this pellet works really well. And we have the G Smith Hyper Impact which was a second accurate pellet on this rifle. Looks almost like a Barracuda. Groups really well. Well and a half an inch. I have shot many groups with this in the same size. Like this pellet works really well on this rifle. And then to the important part. The best and accurate pellet for this rifle was the h and Barracuda 10.5 grains itself. All under one single hole less than half inch for sure this one i just pulled that shot because i was recording this i was on camera shooting the group i did not want to take a lot of time so i had to rush up the shots so still under half an inch apart from all my excuses So if you have this rifle, get a tin of h and Barracudas, it's all about the matter of finding the right pellet for your rifle. These are my 4 suggestions for you guys. Get a tin of these, one of them should be good in your rifle too. And it's always best to try out different varieties of pellets for your rifle. So I just want to push this rifle's limit up to 50 yards. I had a permission in my friend's farm to go over there, take some shots. So I had a very less time over there, I filmed the footages came over here just want to share the idea with you guys if you are planning to take some long range shots with this rifle make sure you shoot somewhere around 190 bar between 140 bar because i found that was the best part to take long range shots 
and now you can see why I didn't take a lot of shooting test at 50 yards that day was really hot and it was getting hotter and hotter I was sweating like something I couldn't withstand the heat so I had to take the shots film all the footages and run away home soon as possible one flyer over there and all the pellets under the same hole i was about to shoot only five shots in this group but when i shot the pellets landing on the same hole i just made like three or four extra shots i guess like about seven or eight shots in this group so at 50 yards this is a really good performance and at 50 yards with the scope came on i tried hitting these balls kept at 50 i was able to hit three out of four shots the rifle was consistent at 50. You will see the footage of that also. I misestimated the holdover. It should have been a 1 mil dot holdover at 50 yards, but I held only half a dot. So these are my take, my suggestions and my results of this rifle. Still working on this rifle to find the exact sweet spot and tuning. So once it is found, this rifle will perform much better than what it is now. I want to push the limits up to like 75 yards at least. So I'll make a separate video for 50 and 75 yard groups. So this is all about the rifle now. So I do accept it is a lengthy video, but I thought like it's worth sharing all the details about this rifle with you guys, which would be helpful for you. So please share your thoughts and ideas on the comment section, which is very valuable. I used to read all the comments of yours, will reply for yours. So please share your ideas about what kind of videos do you want to see in my channel. So I'll start working on that which will be helpful for me to make more videos and if you want to see more of the same kind of videos or more of the videos which I make please subscribe on my channel and of course click the bell icon so that you get a notification whenever I upload a new video. So thanks for hanging around till now. See you in the next video. Bye bye.